Hello, Sammy. Hiya. So I'm Sally Warren, and you're? Sammy. Sammy Butcher. Yeah. And you're an associate with Paradigm, aren't you? So you yeah. work with us sometimes. Yeah. And you work with us particularly to help people understand what good support looks like and feels like mm. uh, yeah. for people to live in their own home. So people call that supported yeah. living, don't they? Yeah, yeah. We call it support for living, don't we? Yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. so that's what we do. So you're going to share a little bit of information here about your life just to help people think about how you were able to make things better for yourself, yeah? Yeah. Okay, brilliant, thank you. So, what's happening in this picture, Sammy? I've got money. Yeah. Wow. And uh, how did you feel when you had those keys in your hand? Really good and happy. Really good and happy. Were there other feelings going on as well? Uh, excited. Excited. Yeah. Yeah. And it um, took quite a long time. And having my own key. Fantastic, yeah, your own key. And it took quite a long time to get there, didn't it? It didn't happen quickly. It, it was a long, long time. And why did it take so long? Do you remember? Uh, it took a long time. Yeah. Who wasn't sure about you moving into your own flat? My mum. Your mum, yeah. yeah. So your mum loves you so much, doesn't she? And she, she wasn't did. sure. And what was her main worry, your mum, then? Uh, she was worried about... Who's going to look after me? Yeah. Look after me. Yeah. In this flat. Yeah. And what sometimes happens to you that really scares your mum as well? She gets nervous. Yeah. yeah. She gets nervous because you have seizures, don't you? Yeah. Sometimes to shoot there. So, but anyway, here you are, smiling, and you were feeling excited and happy because yeah. you had your own keys, your own yeah. front door. Okay. Oh no, I've gone the wrong way. See, that's okay. We can do this. So, who's this? My friend Barry. And uh, you've known Barry a long time. Where did you first meet him? At Badly Day Centre. Oh, that lovely day centre where you sat every day, yes? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Being boring. <laughs> being boring, yeah, yeah, exactly, being boring. So who's Barry now? Where does he live? With me. With you? Yeah. So your buddies, you share your flat, yeah? Yeah. Okay, so you both get support to live there in this amazing flat. We yeah. do. Brilliant. So you were really, really, really excited, weren't you? But the story you're going to tell today is actually what happened. Your lovely sister Hazel mm -hmm. and I, after about eight months, we started to notice you weren't quite as smiley and bubbly mm -hmm. and sparkly as you usually are. Mm -hmm. Something was starting to change. And then we talked with you, didn't we? And these are some of the things that started to make you a bit unhappy, didn't they? Mm -hmm. So what's this one about? Do you remember this? It was a rotor what was stuck on the wall. Yeah. So the rotor was stuck on the wall by who? Who put it on the wall? The stars. stars. And did what what else did they put on the wall? Like the uh rotor for the star who just sticks anything on the wall. So they were sticking anything up there, health and yeah. safety signs mm. and what did you think of that when you were sitting on your sofa in your lovely room? Mm. Upset and you wanted a lovely wall. Absolutely. So what did you do? I told them to stick it in the staff room. Right, so there's a room where they sleep, isn't there? Yeah. So they can keep that stuff mm. in there. Okay. What's this one about? Do you remember this? It says money for two supporters, only one arrived. What was happening? We had two. It was me, Barry, and my staff in the flat, and I didn't find it at all. So what happened if there were one worker and two, you and Barry? What happened? You wouldn't go out. You couldn't go yeah. out. No. So you both use wheelchairs, don't you? So to go mm -hmm. out, you need to have some, some actual support. Yeah. Were you paying for one staff or two staff? We were paying for two staff. Absolutely. So the picture of your sister, pretend yeah. you're just six minutes, explain. So you were paying for two staff and one yeah. was turning up, so you weren't going out. You weren't happy, were you? What's this one about? A stranger what comes in. We don't know them. So who's the strangers in your flat? Mm, from... They were staff, weren't they? Yeah, staff. Yeah. So the strangers were staff. Remember that time I came in, I was sitting on your sofa with you, and I said, oh, who's that man? And you said, I don't know. Yeah. So a member of staff had come in, hadn't really said hello, introduced themselves. They don't introduce themselves. Themselves. They don't introduce themselves yeah. So how did you feel about that? Crap. Crap. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> What's this one? Uh, the staff answer our phone. But after work, I asked, but now I drink myself. 
You weren't happy with them answering no. it, but you had to tell them, did you? Yeah. So how do you do that now? What have you done to make it easier for you to get to the phone? I just told them to give me, give me the phone, then I can answer it myself. Absolutely. Yeah. But you've got more and more confident, haven't you? When yeah, you say uh-huh. something I don't like, you go, well, okay, well, what can you do about it? It's your home, isn't it? Yeah. It's your house. It's not the house for the staff. No. It's yours. And that's no. with reach, what we tell people about, yeah. isn't it? It's my home, yeah. and you're supporting me to live my life. Yeah. So support me in the way I want. Mm. So you did it. Okay, and what was this last one about? Mm. Oh. So what were you doing Monday to Friday and Saturday and Sunday? Just sitting there. Sitting there. Well, you were either sitting there, weren't you? Yeah. Or you were doing the same old stuff you did before. Mm. So you'd moved into your lovely flat, but actually we're going to the same day services, weren't you? Doing the yeah, same well. stuff, seeing the same people. Mm. And how did you feel about that? Awful. Just sitting there doing nothing. At the day services, yeah. 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 Absolutely. And you were paying for that, weren't you? So you started to get really annoyed. And the next picture you like, because it's... Ah. <laughs> <laughs> That's Hazel. It's not really Hazel, is it? But yeah. she was like, you were both pulling your hair yeah. out, going, oh, my goodness. We could see that you weren't happy. You had a beautiful flat. You had all yeah. this weird stuff. You mm. weren't being supported to live no. a really good life at all. You were you were in a lovely flat. We were. With a life without many choices mm. and little control. Yeah. So you both said... You want our money back. Right. So in, in when we chatted, you, me and Hazel, I said, well, mm. actually, you're paying quite a lot of money for this. Then I got fed up, didn't I, and Hazel mm-hmm. and you, because we realised your yeah. support was tied in to this flat rent. And so you were told that if you don't want the support from that company, mm. yeah. you would have to leave the flat. Mm-hmm. Now, I was mad because that shouldn't be the case. No. Real support for living means mm. that you can stay in your flat and you can change your support. Yeah. You were a bit trapped, weren't you? Because oh, you love the flat, mm. you like where it is, and you really like living with Barry. Yeah. So what we did, wasn't it, the three of us, was mm. we said, we know that you have the right to have some of the money yourself. Yeah. So you took it as a direct payment. And I've got a leaflet. And what was this leaflet doing? So we said, we got some money, and you wanted to find what? A support worker. Yeah. We can check me out. Please. Yeah. So someone who's going to be with you, enjoy being yeah. with you. Yeah? So we designed this together, didn't we? So Thank it you. says, do you believe people and communities matter? Are you passionate, enthusiastic, motivated about supporting people to live their lives the way they want? Um, and it says, I'm a young 40-something, that's debatable, but there you go, <laughs> who loves the cinema, going dancing, yeah. making surrounded, exploring. So you, we tried to explain what you were really? and the type of support you were looking for. We also did this. What was this? We were... It says, guidelines for personal assistance supporting me, Sammy. Okay? Yeah. So what was in that? Do you remember? It was letting me do my... Um, thing. let you do your own thing so you don't yeah. want to be supported in a way yeah. that stops you doing things yeah if you have a seizure that you do regularly have seizures yeah. what do you want staff to do just put me on the floor and just stand next to me in case then i come out of it yeah and when you when you come out of it do you want them to take you to hospital no no only if you hit your head, okay? Yeah. And what you found in the past, that some ag- agency staff yeah. would say, I have to take you to hospital, the rules say. You don't want no, that, do you? Want that. So you and your sister say, these are the rules that my supporters work by, yeah. okay? And often you just want to cuddle after, don't you? Because you're pissed yeah, yeah. off with having epilepsy. Yeah. So you just want a hug. Yeah. So that's, that's it. So these were really important to make sure yeah. your personal assistants yeah. knew how to support you. Where, how, you chose your own personal assistants. We did. Where did you interview them? In Costa. Oh, we've advertised Costa Coffee. Oh, no. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> in Costa Coffee, yeah. yeah. And what did you tell, ask me to do? We were in the car driving one day, and you said, I've got an idea for the interview, Sally. You could. You can just tip me and see what they do. She wanted me to nut you or push you, mm. and if I was to do that, what would happen? See what they do. Yeah, but if I did that to you, you'd have a seizure, wouldn't you? Because yeah. you, 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 yeah. I could trigger a seizure mm. very easily. And what did you want me to do? Kick me. Kick you? And yeah. then tell you how the staff reacted? Yeah. Did mm-hmm. I agree to do that? No. <laughs> no. It's on camera. I didn't do it. Okay. I didn't do it. Okay. I didn't. Mm-hmm. But you wanted to know that people aren't going to panic when you have a seizure. No. So, it, you know, so you want people just going to keep you living your life. And is that happening now? No. Some of the time. Some of the time. <laughs> that was a no, wasn't it? Because life isn't yeah. perfect, is it? No. 
It really isn't, is it? You, in fact, you're quite sad about something now, aren't yeah. you? Because you're still stuck in some of the day service. Mm. We can't get the budgets to work, can we, to get you one-to-one -one no. all the time? The time you have with your personal assistants, that's what that's about, isn't it? It is. So how do you feel when you're out doing things with your personal assistants? Very good. Yeah. And what sort of things are you doing? Like cinema, theatre, um, going to my mum's house yeah. to visit her, then come back. You're doing um, it, yeah, everyday yeah. ordinary things, aren't yeah. you? And you, you know, then you, you go to the gym sometimes to do some exercise because we have to do that. Yeah. And you sort of go out, you go mm -hmm. down shopping in the high street. Do you do your own shopping for food now? Yes. Yeah. And you Sammy, what have you yeah. got on your arm? Oh, good point, Joe. Yeah. Joe's filming, by the way. <laughs> so. I've got a new tattoo. And how did that happen? Uh, I was about young and I told my mum. Another tattoo, and she said, "It's up to you." And I said, got it. But it happened when you got a personal assistant yeah. who really got you and mm. understood you, and you started a plan because you had days to do things. You weren't going yeah. to a centre no. or to some project somewhere. You were doing things, so that was a big step, wasn't it? The it tattoo. Did. Good point, Joe. Joe Jarts behind the camera there. Okay, brilliant. Okay, so life is not perfect, but it's no. better because you've got some control. Yeah. This group of people, we only meet. Three, every three months mm. now don't we yeah, do. so for a couple of years we met every month mm. and so these are people in your community circle yeah so here's you who's this my friend jane yeah and what are you just planning with jane a holiday to mallorca mallorca and what have you booked last week you and jane uh flights no we have booked, um, booked the flight we've booked the villa yeah the villa so you booked a villa five bedroom a villa yeah. with a pool yeah. <laughs> and you're going to go and sun yourself okay yeah. And this is David who helps set up the circle. And who are these two lovely women? My sisters. Your sisters, yeah. Okay. Yeah. And Hazel's the one. I mean, it's lovely that Wendy's back yeah. in her life. And then Hazel's mm -hmm. the one who's really pushing things. So this is Hazel who still pulls her hair out because life mm -hmm. isn't perfect, is it? Yeah, and you need people that know and love you to figure mm -hmm. it out. And that should be well, your support yeah. workers as well. She yeah. Support workers should be mm -hmm. doing that. But it says here, we'll keep going. We'll keep learning because Sammy wants a life. We don't say and won't accept anyone else saying she can't because. Mm. And that's what Hazel says, isn't it? That we need to listen and keep learning. And then we'll show the, the guys the other film for you and Hazel yeah. if we've got time, okay? Mm -hmm. yeah. But thank you very much, Sammy. Thank you. Thank you. All right, and thank you, Joe.